My dear seniors, is lack of transportation stopping you from getting out of your home? I believe in breaking barriers, fostering inclusivity, and making a positive impact in, the, in our community. Today, I'm happy to inform you that I will change the way you travel. That's right. I am deeply honored to have Antoinette Braddock, the Director of Paratransit and Specialized Services of RTC of Southern Nevada. She's responsible for making transportation accessible to all. How about that? Promoting connectivity and enhancing convenience for everyone in our city. Stay tuned as we unveil the details of this incredible opportunity that will help you go back bustling on the streets. Seniors, get ready for an exciting new chapter in the world of transportation with RTC. It's safe, economical, and possibilities are endless. Well, as of January 2023, 20, 48% of all Medicare beneficiaries are enrolled in the Medicare Advantage translating to 30.7 million people. Medicare Advantage enrollment growth continued at a rapid pace, adding 2.7 million beneficiaries in 2023. Today, for my Medicare segment, I'm going to discuss Medicare Advantage and the key features of Medicare Advantage. Well, Diabetes is rampant and people need more information. For my Healthy Senior segment, I found a video produced by CDC on living well with diabetes. And for my Medicare question and answer, I will be covering questions on Medicare Advantage. So, no matter what state are you from or what work you've done, you must transition to Medicare at a certain point in your life. Maria Cares has a mission to bring Medicare information right to your home. I'm your host, Maria Garcia, a licensed sales agent always available to assist you with your Medicare concerns. Broadcasting here in the marvelous city of Las Vegas, the city that is full of entertainment. Come on, let's join hands to a better help. She plays a significant role in ensuring access to transportation by providing economical rights to the community. How about that? Antoinette Braddock, <laughs> a dedicated individual, is the Director of Paratransit and Specialized Services Regional Transportation Commission of Southern Nevada, what is known to us as RTC. Antoinette joined the Regional Transportation Commission of Southern Nevada in June 2013. Now as a director, woman power, yes. <laughs> and, serve, and specialized services, she leads as a diverse range of agency departments with combined budget of nearly 60 million, how about that, annually, including paratransit and specialized services, certification, customer care, and mobility training. Antoinette has developed specialized programs to service Southern Nevada's most venerable residents, including paratransit, seniors, and veterans. Most notable is the project development and management of both RTC paratransit ride on demand, which was launched in 2017, and the RTC microtrans Transit Project On Demand, which was launched in 2021. Antoinette is the current president of WTS mm -hmm. Nevada and serves on the WTS Foundation Scholarship Committee. She is also a, a board of the Blind Connect 
and an organization that provides life skills and employment training and has peer support programs for Nevadans affected by vision loss. She, she is a resident of uh, Sounder, Nevada since 2003 with a husband and a pretty young daughter. Antoinette is committed to making transportation more accessible and convenient for everyone and she is here to answer questions to or provide assistance regarding the economical right program offered by RTC. So hi Antoinette. Hello Maria, thank you for having oh, me. Oh, it's a pleasure. Yeah, please introduce yourself and then I will ask you some questions about RTC if I may. Absolutely. Well, thank you again for having um, me and inviting the pleasure. RTC to talk to pleasure. you about the wonderful things that we do for um, not just our community, but very specifically our senior community. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And um, so you had a mouthful uh, to say about me, but um, in short, I have worked for the RTC for just over 10 years. Oh, wow. And uh, I am honored to be able to provide the services and help contribute to the services that we get to provide for our paratransit community, our veterans community, and our senior community. So again, thank you very much, oh, and I'm pleasure. happy to talk more about the services that we provide. Okay, we have just some like simple uh, questions the seniors for sure would like to know. All right. Okay, so how long has your company been providing affordable bus rides to the public, just for the information of the people watching? Absolutely. So the RTC has actually been providing bus service in our community for more than 30 years. And mm -hmm. um, so that is our fixed route service. And then um, just a short two years after that, we started providing our paratransit service. So uh, we have been going strong, providing service to our community. And uh, we're very proud of the things we do today, but we know we have a long way to go to ensure that we're providing absolutely great service and safe service to our community. Oh, nice. So what type of routes does your uh, company offer or does your, your company have any plans to expand your, their routes or services in the future? Yeah, so if I may, I'll, I'll kind of give you a couple ideas yes, of please. some of the services and yeah, then um, if you'd like to ask some more questions, we can kind of dive into some of those okay, services. Sure. So uh, what many people don't know about the RTC is that uh, we, pro we provide a lot of different services uh, throughout Southern Nevada. So, oh. Southern Nevada. so um, in incorporated Clark County and bits and pieces kind of in some of the, the the rural areas like Mesquite and other places like oh. that. So um, we not only do we provide public transit, which is our fixed route service, our paratransit service, and some of the senior transportation services that I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about, mm -hmm. but we are also um, the entity that provides um, we manage the flow of traffic. So we manage oh. the signals and uh, how things yeah. happen on the freeway. We also are, uh, we provide an, inter an, an integral role in um, roadway planning and funding. And then we also do some fun stuff with our bike share program in downtown uh, Las Vegas as well. Oh, I see. That's nice to know. Yeah. So it's including the traffic and the bike and the, well, I thought the RTC is just a bus. So no matter it. what you do, how you're commuting, we touch all oh, of our commuters, wow. whether you drive your personal car or use public transportation. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. Woman power. Yay, yay. <laughs> so, I know you, char you're, uh, you charge a very low fee. So how much do you charge for a one-way ride? So let me tell you a couple of our programs. Yes, so please. our fixed route service, which uh, some of uh, your your viewers might think of as mm -hmm. like the big buses or um, the, the 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 bus system, fixed route. That those are the big buses that kind of travel up and down the roads that you see every day. Mm -hmm. So um, the price of those uh, 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 per ride is two dollars per ride, and customers can um, purchase you know additional passes, longer passes. But the great thing about our fixed route service is for seniors or individuals who yeah. are 60 and older, mm -hmm. they can get a reduced fare card. And uh, what that means is that 
it's reduced fare. So if it's two dollars per ride for them on fixed route, or for you or I, it would be a dollar for uh, the seniors that have oh. the reduced fare card. And so that is our fixed route service, but we have some other services that I'd love to tell you a little bit more sure, about sure. that um, are excellent services specific for our seniors, and they're very economical. Oh yeah, please. <laughs> okay. So uh, one of the services that we offer is our, it's called Silver Ride. And so it is a cluster of um, loop-based routes that are developed around senior communities. So mm -hmm. senior apartment complexes, se senior mobile home complexes, senior um, uh, like facilities like recreational facilities and then um, we we loop those around those places and go to various grocery stores 99 cent stores within that th those communities and um, it is 50 cents per ride oh wow so very economical to our seniors mm -hmm. and um, the customers don't have to be eligible they don't have to make an appointment oh. um, they just um, they, they go to the stop that they want to be picked up at at the time and they hop on the bus go to the grocery store go to the 99 cent store go to their yes, their uh, you know their local um, senior uh, complex and um, they kind of just go about their day and they can use those those again they're sprinkled throughout the valley so uh -huh. um, we have them you know in kind of like the actually in this uh, location like very you know very oh. central uh -huh. in Henderson North Las uh -huh. Vegas and all throughout the valley and and customers um, can or senior customers specifically can use them as they choose so it's a great pi price point because it's almost oh, free. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah, and um, it, it gets really our senior uh, customers to necessity, grocery shopping, pharmacies, that kind of thing. Oh, I see. Are they on a certain, like, um, just like you said, it's sprinkled all over. So how would they know that they're on Walmart, they're on... Uh... Excellent question. Yes, please. So um, to find out more about yeah. our services mm -hmm. and specifically the Silver Star, they can either call our customer care line, oh, nice. which is 702-228-4800, or they can uh, log on to our website, which is www.rtc snv.com and then they can locate more information on where the routes are located and where they go and um, and the times and days that they operate one of the great things we did with this particular service during the course of covid oh, yes. was um, if you recall the grocery stores they changed the hours they made early hours oh, yeah, for yes, our seniors yes. mm -hmm. and so we actually changed the hours of our silver star to make sure that we could get those seniors to those grocery stores at those early hours so that they can make sure that they still got their groceries and, and had some access to their food and um, everything that they needed through that uh, oh. very difficult time. Oh yeah. yeah. Thank you for your mm -hmm. that information. So, so will a person be required to provide any personal information or sign up for a membership to access the ride? Great, uh, great question again. So mm -hmm. for our, um, for the fixed route, so the big buses, if they want a reduced fare card, they can go to our Bonneville Transit Center and they can get a reduced fare card there. Oh. Or um, for our Silver Star, there's nothing required. They just need to know where the bus is gonna, you know, pick up and drop off where they oh. want to go. Mm -hmm. Be there right before uh, the bus is there and then when they wanna get picked up, be there. Um, and so no credentialing necessary. Oh, that's good. There is another service I didn't talk too much about yet, but I'd be happy to tell you about sure. it. And it's actually broader. So it gets your customers to more places throughout our valley than just the grocery store. So medical appointments, oh, nice. work if they have it, mm -hmm. or other recreational things that they might be interested in, in doing, right? Because we don't just need to go to the grocery store. We need to go to other places beyond, right? Yeah. So we also have our paratransit service and our paratransit service is an eligibility-based service. So customers have to be eligible to use our paratransit service. I'll talk to you a little bit about the eligibility yes. in just okay, a second, okay. but I'll share with you just what paratransit is. So uh -huh. paratransit is 
the comparable service to our fixed route. So we know that there are oh. some customers that really can't manage our mm -hmm. fixed route service. Mm -hmm. Maybe um, they have a cognitive impairment that oh, yeah. prevents them from doing that, mm -hmm. or they have a physical impairment that prevents them from using the fixed route bus. Mm -hmm. So as an alternative option, we have our paratransit service. And oh, so nice. our paratransit service operates 24 hours a day, oh. 365 days a week. Mm -hmm. It is a door-to-door -door service. Oh. It is shared ride and reservation based. So eligible customers, they would just call our customer care department, which again is uh, area code 702-228-4800. And um, they can schedule their rides to wherever they wanna go with inside the paratransit service area. Now there is a service area, it doesn't operate throughout the entirety of the valley, but we can also provide that information either via our website or to the customers once they become eligible. Eligibility is um, it's relatively simple, so some of your customers or some of your, your viewers may yes. already be eligible for paratransit, at which case they just need to call, make those reservations to where they need to go, but for, um, the viewers that might not be eligible, um, basically they would just need to call our customer care line and request an application. They fill out the application. It asks some information just about, um, their, a little bit about medical care, why they can't access our fixed route service, and um, kind of just digs in a little bit about why they need the paratransit service. Uh, they submit the application back to our certification department, and then uh, someone from our team will get back to them to um, move forward with their eligibility one way or the other within just a few days of that. Oh, that's good. So yeah, because you know, I'm a Medicare agent, and um, they have actually, with Medicare Advantage, they have certain rides, like the thing is like 24, uh, 24 rides a year. So those are just for doctor's appointments, yeah. yeah. And the thing is, I said, what, what if they want to, like, some wanted to go to church, some would like to go to the gym, some would like to go to a family. But I said, I mean, for one, some, most of the time it's not enough, the 24 rides a, uh, a year. And then I said, so uh, then sometimes, like, they need to schedule three, day, three days ahead. How about you, women, what's, uh, how many days do they have to schedule before they can get a ride. So very similar, and I would like to acknowledge something you said, and yeah. it is very important to understand that we are just, we're not just our medical appointments, right? We want to live our life yes, beyond just our doctors. Yes, that's why, just our that's doctors. why I said yes, we need you, our DCS and guests you here. You are absolutely correct. We, we want to have our religious, yes. uh, you know, mm -hmm. transportation, mm -hmm. family, and just recreation, right? Yeah. We want to go shopping or mm -hmm. have a, you know, lunch or dinner with our friends. Yes. And so paratransit, there is no specification of where you can go. So it doesn't have to be medical. You could go, we transport folks to dialysis and we transport oh, yeah. folks to the library. And we don't care which type of appointment you mm -hmm. wanna go to, we'll, mm -hmm. we'll provide all of them. So we do, they do have to book in advance. So uh, schedule their appointment a minimum of one day. Oh, that's good. But they can, they can also book out um, a maximum of three days in advance. So that's if good. you know that you wanna go to the doctor or you have church, you can schedule your appointment up to three days in advance as well. And um, the cost of a ride on paratransit is $3. Mm -hmm. And um, there are some, uh, th there is no cap on the amount of times you can ride. So if oh, that's you, good. absolutely, if you wanna, if you just need it for the doctor's appointment and then you have family members or friends that take you to the other stuff, that's okay. If you don't have any family and you're new to the area and you need to go everywhere on paratransit, that's also okay. And we, we allow for however and how often you'd like to go. Oh yeah, because for example, how come some, some people, they move from another state and they need the paraset, paratransit, right? Do they have to be specifically uh, a resident of Nevada or? Great question. Mm -hmm. So when someone is initially coming here from mm -hmm. another state, we can give them what's called resident or uh, visitor, excuse me, visitor eligibility. Oh, and see. so it will allow them to use paratransit 
for 21 days oh, that's um, a good from when they yeah. come. So they have to provide us the paratransit information from their home state. Mm -hmm. um, but if they're going to live here, so if they have decided that they're going to become a resident, then they do need to go through the eligibility process to actually get like sufficient eligibility beyond that 21 days. Oh, that's good to yeah. know. So um, can you describe the level of quality and comfort that customers can expect when riding your, um, with your company or with RTC? Absolutely. So one thing um, that is important to note, all of our vehicles, so our paratransit vehicles, our Silver Star vehicles, and even our fixed route buses are all ADA accessible. Oh. So they accommodate oh, wheelchairs, walkers. Mm -hmm. So um, on our fixed route buses, there's a ramp if you need it. Um, if it's not already deboarded, you can ask the driver to do so. For paratransit, when you're booking your ride, and if you if you have a wheelchair, you just book. Let you know, let them know that that you have a wheelchair and you'll be traveling with your wheelchair. And so um, they're all accessible. So that's very important. We make sure that all of our vehicles can ac accommodate um, our ADA um, clients. Oh, and then good. from um, a comfort perspective, um, all of our buses too, we, we try to uh, invest in a relatively new fleet of buses. So they are clean, they, um, they are comfortable, and um, you know, up to date. Like the, the maintenance on them is good. There's air conditioning as you know, we have our, oh, yeah. our very hot weather, although we're experiencing okay, yes, some nice yes. weather this summer. Mm -hmm. oh, but yeah, I know um, we ensure that our vehicles are comfortable and safe and um, you know, are clean and just basically what anybody would expect to have for a comfort, comfortable ride. Oh yeah. So I'm just curious how many buses are run for, running for paratransit? That's a great so question. This, yeah. So in our paratransit fleet, we have more than 400 buses. Oh, wow. Yeah. So we have a, a very extensive fleet. Um, for a long time, they all looked the same. So for your, for your viewers, um, when you think about our fixed route buses, they're the really long ones, they're the really big ones. The paratransit ones are the little boxier ones, mm -hmm. but we've added um, actually a new vehicle type to our fleet and they're, they're uh, we call them conversion vans. So they're a little bit longer, but not as boxy as our paratransit oh. cutaways. So, but in total, we have uh, just over 400 vehicles in paratransit. Oh, nice. So are they go going to ride in the uh, together or just uh, one one person at a time? Excellent question. So with both paratransit and with our Silver Star, they're shared rides. Oh, shared so rides. they okay. share them with other seniors, mm -hmm. other individuals who, who need the, um, the ADA service. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, anyway, you mentioned a little bit of this, but maybe they wanted to know how do you ensure the safety of passengers while they are on board? That's a really great question, um, you know, and um, one of the things that our, our board, the, op, uh, the RTC, is um, we have oversight from a, a regional board. And so one thing that our board is really committed to and our executive team is safety on our buses. And actually very recently, um, we, our, our board actually approved additional funding for, uh, to have safety and uh, security on board our fixed route buses. Those are the buses that tend to uh, require a little bit more monitoring from um, like a safety and security perspective, but the RTC is, has invested and is investing an annual uh, $13 million a year to ensure the safety on board our fixed route vehicles. And then our paratransit vehicles, um, it, it, it's got a different dynamic of folks than uh, our fixed route, but we do regular safety with securement, with our drivers, um, with how they're driving, how they are um, escorting customers, right? Mm -hmm. Offering a steady hand when uh, passengers board and unboard um, to ensure that the customers are arriving to and from their destination safely. Nice. So are there like, like a camera? Or? Oh, yes, absolutely. Oh, that's good. Very good question also. <laughs> so on board all of our fleet, so our fixed route buses and our paratransit and our Silver Star buses as well, 
um, they there are cameras on board oh, so there's goodness. cameras on the inside of the bus mm -hmm. um, there are cameras on the exterior of the bus oh, as well cool. that help with you know making sure not just our passengers on board are mm -hmm. safe but also the pedestrians around our buses are also safe when they're maneuvering and walking around oh that's good to know yeah <laughs> so how can this, oh, I already mentioned this, um, but is there a specific process to schedule a ride? Or they, can they go online? Sure, yeah. Oh, yeah. So one of the things we've really invested in is technology for uh -huh. our paratransit customers, and actually just for all of our customers, really. So um, for paratransit specifically, we um, they can either call our customer care uh, line, which again is 702-228. 4800 and they can book their rides um, using the phone but we also have um, some apps for our paratransit and oh, also for our fixed route yeah so um, our seniors that want to use their their mobile phone to mm -hmm. book cancel or even just check to see when their bus is going to come we have that of availability oh, too so we nice have that for paratransit that. We have it for our fixed route service. On our fixed oh, route, wow. they can actually buy their passes and um, do everything that they need to phone. do on their mobile app, wow. yeah, on the phone. And uh, again, so they can find that information either through customer service or if they uh, go to our website, which again is www.rtcsnv.com. And they can get the leaks, more information, anything that they want to know about all of our services through the website as well. Oh, that's nice to yeah. know. So in what ways does your company strive to reduce the um, ecological impact? Mm, that's a great question as well. So mm -hmm. um, at this time, mm -hmm. I would say 95% of our vehicles are all um, their natural gas. So yes. they are, we, we move them with natural gas, so it's not diesel or unleaded, we, we do have some unleaded vehicles in our paratransit fleet, but um, we, we use natural gas. Um, nice. And just by nature of public transit, when we have people using our bus systems, it takes people out of their personal vehicles, right? So oh, yeah. that reduces the carbon footprint from individual cars on the road. And then I think I shared um, in my first talking points that we um, we oversee the the bike share program oh, yes, in yes. downtown Las Vegas. Oh yeah, that's also one. So thing. that's another fun an way that we can yeah. reduce the uh, that carbon footprint in mm -hmm. our in our valley in our community. Nice to know. So can you share any customer success stories or testimonials that highlighted the affordability and convenience of your um, services? Yeah, thank you for asking this question because. Um, I have been with the RTC for the better part of 13 years and mm -hmm. it is a privilege and an honor to be able to serve our community and one of the best parts of my job is actually to get to know our customers and see just really great yeah. stories mm -hmm. of independence yes. mm -hmm. and I think that's what it comes down to is um, our services provide independence to people yeah. to, and it doesn't matter your abilities mm -hmm. or your age. It provide we just get to provide access and um, one thing just really quickly uh, that I'll, I'll share with you is we have a department in uh, it's actually under my purview it's called mobility training mm -hmm. and this is an area where we see a lot of really great success stories both with our seniors and with people that may have some cognitive uh, disabilities but still want to be independent mm -hmm. and our mobility training department actually will work either one-on-one -on -one with individuals mm -hmm. or with groups of seniors mm -hmm. to help them learn how to navigate our fixed route bus system mm -hmm. and so it the fixed route can seem a little intimidating if you've never ridden public transit but uh -huh. this group of people will will they'll walk you through how to board the bus 
oh, how nice. to pay for your mm -hmm. passes or buy a bus ticket mm -hmm. and even how to plan your routes. So, you know, maybe you want to go across town and, uh, you know, or you want to go to the new casino or, you know, there's a new, uh, you know, want to try the mob museum, things that you don't, aren't necessarily in your backyard, uh -huh. but this, this group will train and teach people how to independently use our services and it's free. It's free. It is free to the customers, the senior groups that use them. And if this is something that um, someone is interested in, again, you can look on our website or you can call our customer care line and ask for more information. If it were a senior group and they wanted to, to have someone come out, mm -hmm. um, my recommendation would be um, either have a coordinator of a senior center uh -huh. or um, if it's a, a senior a living facility, mm -hmm. have a coordinator call and um, just request us to come out. And we, we do those in the spring and fall when we get past the heat. So it's, oh, it's yeah. easy and safe to kind of be on public transit. But that is a place that we see independence grow. And yeah. I know you know about <laughs> that so concern. much. That's my concern. That's why I felt sorry if they, oh, I cannot go out of the house when I, mean, I don't have a ride. And then Uber is getting so expensive. It is. It is. Yeah, after, especially after the pandemic. Like yes. Everything went up. Taxis. And then, and then 50 cents, $3. And oh, by the way, is there mileage limit to the three dollars no so on paratransit there is no mileage it just has to be within our paratransit service area mm -hmm. and um, you know on fixed route we have uh, so it's um, for seniors if they get the reduced fare card mm -hmm. it is it, for a dollar that's one ride so boarding and then deboarding but then we have other types of passes so there are full day passes there's monthly passes 15 day passes. So there's all kinds of passes that they can purchase that fits their needs. So they're not wasting their money. If they're they don't if they don't, you know, want to travel all month long, maybe they just need a 15 day pass or if maybe they just need a single ride. So they get to pick and choose on which passes they buy and if they have that reduced fare card, it's half off. And I did not tell you this, if they are paratransit eligible, it's free. Wow, who can't does, beat that. Who doesn't like free? Yeah, I can't beat that, yeah. Right. <laughs> Just like you said, who doesn't like free? I do. I Me do. too. <laughs> I'll, I'll raise two hands. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, Antoinette, it's, uh, it's, it's inspiring to hear how RTC is making a positive impact on the community by offering affordable transportation options, connecting people to their destinations while considering their fi financial well-being. We hope that this interview has shed light on the importance of accessible and cost-effective transportation solutions and how RTC is addressing this need with their dedication and commitment through Antoinette. I would like to extend my gratitude to you, Antoinette for sharing um, her expertise and providing us with a glimpse into the valuable services provided by RTC of Southern Nevada. Her efforts truly demonstrate a strong commitment to enhancing mobility and ensuring that transportation is within reach of all members of the community. So as we conclude this interview, let us applaud the remarkable work of Antoinette and her team for their contributions in creating a more accessible and affordable transportation landscape. May their endeavors continue to positively impact the lives of individuals, especially seniors who rely on economical rights. God bless you. And you, and thank you thank for what you, you do. It's for a seniors. pleasure. Thank you. This is the topic you always want to know, Medicare Advantage. Well, Medicare Advantage is also known as Medicare Part C. It is an alternative option for receiving Medicare benefits. 
compared to original Medicare. It provides a comprehensive healthcare approach by combining hospital insurance, which is your Part A, medical insurance, which is your Part B, and often prescription drug coverage, that is your Part D, into a single plan offered by private insurance companies approved by Medicare. One of the key features of Medicare Advantage is the additional benefit it offers beyond original Medicare. These benefits may include vision, care, dental services, hearing aids, wellness programs, transportation, over-the-counter products, and even gym membership. How about that? These extra benefits can greatly enhance the overall healthcare experience for Medicare beneficiaries. Medicare Advantage plans operate under different models such as health maintenance or organizations or HMO, preferred provider organizations, or private fee-for-service PFS, um, PFS plans. These models may have specific rules regarding provider network referrals and out-of-network coverage. It's essential to understand the details of each plan and choose the one that aligns with your healthcare needs and preferences. Enrollment in Medicare Advantage typically occurs during specific enrollment periods such as IEP or Initial Enrollment Period when you first become eligible for Medicare or Annual Enrollment Period October 15 to December 7 each year. An open enrollment period from January 1st to March 31st is also available where you can have a one-time switch. There are also special enrollment periods for certain circumstances such as moving to a new area or qualifying for extra health and changes in health conditions. One of the advantages of Medicare Advantage is the emphasis on care coordination. Many plans offer care management programs and tools to help participants manage chronic conditions, receive preventive care, and navigate the healthcare system more effectively. This coordinated approach can be a result in improved health outcomes and better overall wellness. How about that? It's important to note that Medicare Advantage plans may have different cost structures compared to original Medicare. While some plans have low or even zero monthly premiums, participants still need to pay their Part B premium. Don't forget that. Cost-sharing elements such as deductibles, co-payments, co-insurance also vary different plans and services received. Well, Medicare Advantage continues to grow in popularity as it provides all-in-one healthcare solutions with added benefits. By understanding the features, enrollment options, and care coordinations, and cost structures, you can make informed decision and choose the Medicare Advantage plan that aligns with your specific healthcare requirements. So, here are some key points about Medicare Advantage. Comprehensive coverage. Medicare Advantage plans are required to offer at least the same coverage as original Medicare Parts A and B. Many Medicare Advantage plans also provide additional benefits such as prescription drug plan coverage, the, the Part D. And then vision, dental, hearing, fitness program, transportation, and over-the-counter products. Nowadays, they even have a flex card that you can use towards your co-payments. So next one, we have managed care approach. Medicare Advantage plan often operates using a managed care model such as health maintenance organization or HMO. HMO plans typically have zero premiums. You can expect to pay less out of your pocket and an HMO plan 
is a type of Medicare Advantage plan that generally provides health care coverage exclusivity from doctors, other health care providers, or hospital in the plan's network. Remember the plan's network. Except, of course, for emergency, out-of-area, urgent care, or temporary out-of-area dialysis, for example. Preferred provider organization, which is the PPO, tend to have higher monthly premiums in exchange for the flexibility to use the providers both in and out of network without referral. Out-of-the-pocket medical costs can also run higher with the PPO. Although they generally have provider networks, Medicare Advantage PPOs let you see doctors outside the plan network. You might have to pay higher coinsurance or co-payments for seeing out-of-network providers. You don't have to choose a primary care provider with a Medicare PPO, but you do have to do it with the HMO. Now, special needs plan. It provides benefits and services to people with specific illness like diabetes, heart, and lung diseases that have certain health care needs. This plan also focuses on Medicare and people who also have Medicaid. So, monthly premiums. So while original Medicare typically has separate premium for Part A, if applicable, and Part B, Medicare Advantage plans often cons consolidate the premiums into a single monthly premium. Some Medicare Advantage plan may have low or even zero premium options, though part participants are still responsible for paying their Part B. I have to reiterate that. Co-sharing. So Medicare pays a monthly premium for every member who enrolls in a Medicare Advantage plan. Due to the co-sharing arrangements, including deductibles, co-payments, and co-insurance, these amounts can vary depending on specific plan and services received. So prescription drug plan coverage. Many Medicare Advantage plans include prescription drug coverage, the Medicare Part D, as a part of their benefits package. These plans are known as Medicare Advantage Prescription Drug Plan or the MAPD plans. So annual enrollment period. So Medicare beneficiaries can enroll in or switch or disenroll from a Medicare Advantage plan during the annual enrollment period, which is October 15 to December 7 each year. There are other enrollment periods available for specific circumstances. Okay, you could also enroll it with the OEP, January 1st to March 31st. Coordination of care. Medicare Advantage plan often of offer care coordination and disease management programs to help participants manage their health care needs and improve overall wellness How about that it is important to note that medicare advantage plans have specific rules and limitations participants must receive health care services from providers within the plans network except in cases of emergency or urgent care. Prior authorization may be required for certain services or treatments. Living with diabetes requires a proactive approach, a commitment to self-care, and ongoing collaboration with your healthcare professionals. While it presents challenges with proper management, individuals with diabetes can lead fulfilling lives and reduce the risk of complications associate, association associated with this condition. Well, I found a video from CDC entitled Living Well with Diabetes. Please watch it.
Hi, I'm Joan London. Diabetes can be a serious health challenge, but fortunately you can be in the driver's seat when it comes to managing it by watching what you eat, setting aside time to get moving physically, and keeping a close eye on your blood sugar. You can take just a few steps right now to ensure a healthier future. So joining me today is Dr. Ann Albright, Director of the CDC's Division of Diabetes Translation, and Maria Rodriguez, a certified diabetes educator. And welcome. So as a certified diabetes educator, how do you work with patients? So a diabetes educator um, is a provider of the team that um, helps the, the patient with diabetes learn how to best manage their, their disease, which is a 24-hour disease and it requires a lot of work. So you kind of teach them how to do all the things that maybe they don't want to take time asking the doctor, like, how do I actually do the injection? How do I actually check my blood sugar? Exactly, and we also um, teach them about the myths that they may have behind the disease, what they're scared about, um, and that's where I come in and I give them um, some clarification to all the questions that were not answered previously, such as uh, how to use a glucometer, or what are the goals for their blood sugars, or how to better manage their diet and, and their weight as well. But how do you avoid some of these terrible complications like vision loss and amputation? Well, it's certainly, as Maria said, it is really about getting that diabetes self-management education and support. And it's also about seeing those other members of your healthcare team. And you really need to go in on a regular basis. Don't wait until you're feeling symptoms of something because a number of these complications don't have symptoms until it's really you're far down the road. So get in there early and uh, continue to really pay close attention. But those in the know, like the doctor and the diabetes educators, they might pick up on these things earlier. Absolutely, those important tests and exams are a big part of it. All right, well, thank you both. And if you want more information on living well with diabetes, log on to cdc.gov slash diabetes TV. I'm Joan London, see you next time. Now we are on Medicare Q&A um, quest segment questioning. So first question, what happens if I move to a different state? Can I keep my Medicare Advantage plan or do I need to find a new plan? When you move to a different state, your eligibility for your current Medicare Advantage plan may depend on the availability of that specific plan in your new location. Here are some scenarios to consider. For example, in network coverage. If your current Medicare Advantage plan has a network of healthcare providers in your new state or in your new location, you may be able to continue with your existing plan. However, it is important to confirm if the plan's network includes the provider in your new area to ensure continued access to in-network care. Well, an example for this is I mean, a carrier that has the same coverage in the same county you move in, so you're fine. But you have, just like I mentioned, you have to make sure, okay? Out-of-network coverage. If your Medicare Advantage plan does not have a network of providers in your new state, you may need to switch to a new plan. Out-of-network care may not be covered or may have higher costs, so it's crucial to review your plans out of network policies and consider finding a new plan that aligns with your new location. Special enrollment period. Moving to a new state typically qualifies you for a special enrollment period, allowing you to make changes to your Medicare Advantage plan outside of the regular enrollment period. This SEP, or Special Enrollment Period, gives you the opportunity to find a new plan that suits your needs in your new state. Well, to explore your options and find a suitable Medicare Advantage plan in your new state, you can contact the Medicare Helpline to work with you, with you or work with a licensed insurance agent just like me who specializes in Medicare. I can provide guidance on available plans, network coverage, and assist you in making an informed decision based on your healthcare needs and preferences. Next question, 
Can I switch Medicare Advantage plans at any time during the year or I am restricted to a specific enrollment periods? In general, there are specific enrollment periods during which you can switch Medicare Advantage plans. The primary enrollment period for making changes to your Medicare Advantage coverage is the annual enrollment period, or we call it AEP, which is typically from October 15 to December 7 each year. During this period, you can switch from Medicare Advantage plan to another, or switch to original Medicare, or switch from me another Medicare Advantage plan to another. However, there are also other enrollment periods that allow you for changes under certain circumstances. Like, for example, initial enrollment period. This is the period when you first become eligible for Medicare, which you usual, usually starts three months before you turn 65 and ends three months after. During this time, you can enroll in a Medicare Advantage plan or choose a Medicare Advantage. That is after you get your Medicare Parts A and Part B. Okay. Special enrollment period. Certain life events such as moving to a new location, losing employer-sponsored uh, coverage, or qualifying for extra help may trigger a special enrollment period. This period allows you to make changes to your Medicare Advantage plan outside of the regular enrollment period. Medicare Advantage Open Enrollment Period. From January 1st to March 31st each year, there is a Medicare Advantage Open Enrollment Period. During this time, individuals who are already enrolled in Medicare Advantage plan can switch to another Medicare Advantage plan or return to original Medicare. It's important to note that there are many limitations and restrictions on switching Medicare Advantage plan outside of the established enrollment periods. In most cases, you will need to wait until the next applicable enrollment period to make changes to your coverage. However, certain exceptional circumstances such as receiving Medicaid, or moving to a new service area may also qualify you for a special enrollment. To make changes to your Medicare Advantage plan, it is advisable to contact the Medicare helpline or work with the licensed insurance agent who can guide you through the process and help you understand available options based on your specific circumstances. We use headphones as a part of our everyday lives. Whether we're at work, getting exercise, meditating, in transit, studying, practicing, or relaxing. Hi, I'm Ryan Sway, the founder of Aircom. I would like to introduce the world's first wireless airflow audio earbuds. As a festival and a concert junkie, I really enjoy the live experience of being there and feeling the music. When we started developing airflow, our goal was to reproduce that live experience using earbuds. The problem with traditional headphones is that the speakers are located inside of the earpiece, literally giving you centimeters before the audio hits your eardrum. What Aircom is doing, they're the first company to actually address the fact that there needs to be a space involved associated with having the sound waves expand fully. The difference between traditional headphones and Aircom audio is that the air tube gives you eight times more space allowing the sound waves to fully develop before they actually hit your eardrums. And this gives it a much more live, natural sound, just like in a recording studio. Real nice that someone actually addressed the physics associated with how sound comes out. The challenge we had was to create an earbud with enough airspace for the sound to fully develop and breathe. Unfortunately, traditional earbuds are about the size of a jelly bean, and there's just not enough airspace. However, that changed when we developed Airflow Audio. Airflow uses an air tube to deliver six to eight times more airspace than traditional earbuds. The end result is a true live listening experience, just like you're at a festival or a concert. We also added magnets to the back of the earpieces so you can wear it around your neck when you're not using it. Being that the drivers are 
eight inches from the earpiece, the magnets do not affect the integrity of the sound at all. The orange line represents the frequency transmitting through the wire to the speaker, which then converts to the blue sound wave that develops more as it travels up the air tube, producing a balanced, full body and live listening experience. Another really cool feature is that these earbuds are sweat proof and water resistant because they're coated with a super hydrophobic nanotechnology. So now you can be on a skateboard or riding a motorcycle and listen to music as if you were watching a live show or actually in a recording studio. We're coming to you for help in bringing these unparalleled earbuds to market. We've reached the end of my show. I would like to extend my gratitude to Antoinette for providing us valuable information about the scope of services provided by RTC. Their efforts truly demonstrate a strong commitment to enhancing mobility and ensuring that transportation is within the reach of all the members of the community. I was able to share some Medicare Part C or Medicare Advantage uh, information. I'm sure you gained some knowledge on the Medicare Advantage questions I covered. I would like to send my love, hugs, and kisses to all my clients. And to those who are looking for a reliable Medicare agent, I'm looking forward to being a part of your Medicare journey. I'll see you again for another episode of Maria Cares. Take care of, health, of your health. That's the only one you got. Let's join hands to a better health.